Good morning, astronomy students. This is your instructor for Astronomy 1A for the summer of 2020. I just want to share with you this uh, brief, basically, introduction of the course so that you guys have a feel of how this uh, looks like. And uh, just to give you an idea of how to navigate your way through Canvas once you log in, uh, the main thing in here, once you log in, you probably are prompted. So I'm right now I'm logged in actually as a student to give you a feel of how that would look like from your vantage point, from your perspective. So when you go to the home page, it actually takes you to the syllabus, at least from my view right now. And I think it should work for you guys. If not, I encourage you to come to the syllabus. And the syllabus, there is a lot of things that you have in there, including this, of course, video that I am uh, recording right now. So that basically it gives you this introduction and all of the relevant things for this course. Uh, one of the things that you will notice in here, once you come in, of course, I will encourage you to go through all of the things that you need to do, including, for example, grading policy description, and, of course, a tentative schedule for the summer 2020. We'll be covering basically about two uh, chapters a week, sometimes only one chapter a week, all the way to chapter 12 for this course. And uh, this content normally is uh, spread throughout the whole semester, but because of the fact that we're doing a compressed summer session, there is uh, double the work. My expectation in here is that since we spend about 8 to 10 hours a week working on our classes in a, re a regular normal class, is that we have to double that because the load is doubled. So we're going to be uh, working about 16 to 20 hours basically a week trying to complete all of the tasks. By all means, if you're struggling or if you have any difficulty with the time allocated or you have uh, some conflicts, please let me know so that we can work out the schedule if possible. There is no way that I'm going to accept a, uh, a work that is uh, uh, past the due line unless you guys have a prior permission to do so. Once you come in in here and you get yourself familiar at least with the landing page, namely the uh, the uh, syllabus, you will see on the le on the right hand side in here you will see the tasks to do. I already sent you a letter on uh, on uh, the fifteenth. Uh, uh, right now, if you don't find it, just click on it in here, and it's going to tell you basically uh, in a nutshell what this course is about and things like uh, what I was just talking about and things like this. There are also other projects that are due and the due lines, the due dates on them are next to them and so on and so forth. And there is actually more tasks that are coming in here. So once you finish one task, you're going to see this one marked as done. And then uh, the things that you didn't do, of course, you're going to continue until you finish them all. Uh, uh, one important point in here is that you come into your inbox in here and communicate with me all the time if you are going to, if you have any questions and things like that. This is the preferred way actually of communication. If not, I included also my contact info in here so that you can get in touch with me. I encourage you to watch this video. Of course, hopefully you're watching it right now. At least I have an idea to come back to it just in case if you have more questions. Uh, another thing that you probably would want to look at is the technology use. And here I have a few software that you probably need to consider downloading. Actually, you should uh, download. Um, with the Adobe Reader is very important because you will have some fillable files and it works best and actually it works probably only with the Adobe Reader. Do not rely on anything else. Of course, if you can, you should have a Word editor like Microsoft Word or OpenOffice. And a software that I urge you that to download is Telerium because we're going to do some activities related to it. It's a free software. All of the things that I'm posting in here are either free or they're included as part of your uh, license as a student in uh, the college. Cute PDF if in case you don't have a PDF creator. So those are some of the things that you will need. And once you have all of yourself situated, once you know exactly where you are and everything else, what you will find yourself doing day in, day out is basically coming straight to the models in here. I was tempted actually to make the models as a home page. What the models is, is basically the work in that you'll be doing day in, day out. So uh, in here, what you have actually is a uh, is a uh, all the tasks that you are doing you're going to be doing week one week two week three all the way to week six and right now I did not post in the, the next weeks so hopefully week two will be available before the weekend so that uh, before Monday actually you will have the uh, the the week available for you some of these things are locked and right now it's date locked and some of them they will be locked pending the completion of prior tasks so that's basically how this thing will be will be will be uh, organized in other words 
you have to go sequentially with these things. You have to finish task one, then go to task two, post the assignment for it, post task three. If there is a quiz, take the quiz, submit the homework, and do all of these things in proper order so that you have everything done for you, checked, and move on and move on. At some point, at least there is a, there is a, a midterm, before the midterm, all the tasks need to be completed so that you take your midterm and basically pass the further, basically 50% mark of the course. And then there is a final also by which all of the assignments are due. Some of these assignments are due by date. Some of them are due with the, by the end of the course. So basically, you have to pay attention to all of these things. And they will be, of course, clearly pointed to you. I hope that this is a brief introduction of the course and that uh, you will be able to uh, communicate with me just in case if you have questions uh, there is actually uh, you can go and basically create a discussion point in here i will talk about that down the road where you basically ask a question and hopefully if i am not available for you somebody else will answer it so I encourage that very much so that you guys work together also on things some of these assignments they are individual assignments like quizzes and exams but some of these assignments like projects and homework they're actually group projects in a sense you can work with somebody else and i don't mind having uh, similar assignments uh, worked out of course if you disagree with your partners you can always submit your own version of it uh, I hope that this was like I said uh, an introduction that clarifies some of the way that you are going to navigate your way through it again if you have more questions please do ask this is actually my phone number please do send me a self uh, text message if in case I don't respond either to the inbox which is really the preferred the number one way of for you to communicate with me in here to go to your inbox and ask a question or uh, go to the discussion and ask a question if it's not a personal question so that everybody can uh, basically contribute and hopefully help you before I do and maybe they will have a better interpretation or a version of it than myself and then if it's like I said personal you can come in here to the inbox and send me a request and I don't mind uh, doing that actually number one choice if, uh, in case the discussion is not an option uh, 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 another alternative is my email address on campus which you can send me an email in here or you can actually text me like I said just in case if something is urgent and you see that uh, probably I'm not uh, responding in time I mean there is a policy also for when I can respond usually within 24 hours I have a response for you if the request comes between Monday through uh, Thursday. Thank you.